This lesson is uh, how to use an image with a transparency background or an alpha channel or a 32-bit file such as a PNG, TIFF, or Targa. Okay, so let's uh, first just apply that into a, uh, into a plane. So let me get a plane here. All right, and then we'll uh, use another object here just so that uh, we'll put a monkey shrink the monkey a little bit. And I'm just going to put this below. Turn on my screencast. All right, just so that we could see the transparency here. We could see through it. Okay, so let's go to shading. All right, and uh, let us apply the uh, texture. So I'm going to hit new right here, principal BSDF. All right, then we'll go grab the uh, uh, the file so this one right here okay so just to see what this looks like we just simply plug that to the base color and there it is okay the transparency is supposed to be where the dark or black area is I'm gonna switch to UV so we see this exactly how it's supposed to be shown okay um, probably get this light right here duplicate it and just kind of bring it over here just so that we get to see that all right so now uh, it's actually really easy to do uh, once you have that and this is a 32-bit file with a uh, whatever the black is it's uh, transparent okay so you simply uh, connect the noodle to alpha from the image texture to the alpha of the uh, shader that still didn't do it but you can kind of see that it's affecting it you know the uh, roughness and whatnot Right, and then you simply go to the shader panel, which is the same shader as this. Okay, you go to settings, and then under blend mode, change that to alpha clip. All right, and that will give you the transparency right there. Okay, and it's not just a viewport transparency. This is also uh, a renderable transparency. So let's just go and it's going to make my background here pure black, so we can kind of see the reality of things okay let me go to x-ray mode oh, sorry uh, uh, wireframe mode non x-ray and I'm gonna put another light just so that we could see the monkey right there okay let's take a look all right there it is so it's transparent so you can use this for any uh, image that would require this it's just a uh, you know like let's say a general store the uh, main window where you have uh, the classic uh, signage that people paint on top or you can also use this technique to overlay to another image texture you can combine the two and you can spray let's say uh, graffiti art on top of brick texture so on and so forth and that's how it works all right so let me do a uh, number zero on the numpad here just to show you that uh, it is transparent uh, let me go to uh, my layout tab here. Press zero. I'm going to press N to uh, lock my camera. Okay, and then just so that we could see it, I'm going to go to EB. There it is. If I go to render, all right, and that concludes the lesson.